Welcome back to Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins. And if you're watching this today, it's posted, I still wish you a happy Halloween. Quick duck. Oh, hey. You! Doesn't get much more point blank than that. There was a third guy. Shit, man, I don't want to go in there. Fuck, I can't tell if that was a scripted thing. I was supposed to follow him over there for an ambush. Or if that was just the AI. And he could come wandering out of there. While I'm searching the corner like a goon. Arts Department Store. You know, I was really looking forward to getting out of that metro station. This is actually worse. That's weird. It only really makes sense if that was put there... So if this is, you know, someone stashing a murder weapon... Then, uh... What am I doing? There was a bird in this room. This is someone stashing a murder weapon? and it would be missing bullets. But, uh... It really doesn't make sense. That a gun would stay fully loaded in its display case for 14 years under these conditions. Yeah, let's go with this for now. How many, uh, med kits are back here? Seem to be kind of wrapping around. Maybe I will get one of those. I was assuming I would find a switch and have to retrace my steps, but, uh... You know, maybe not. I'm not coming back this way, I won't need that other health kit. Fuck. Oh, to have a psychic vision. Oh, 
Oh! Oh. Oh, fuck this so hard. And I can't even tell anymore because these guys have two sleeves. I mean, they're missing a hand, but... Please stop that. Please. Hey, guys. I know exactly what caption to give that. This isn't happening. Oh. Oh, hey. Let's go the long way. Great. I assume that was a dude, but he was snarling like a necromorph. Happy Halloween, motherfuckers. I don't think I'm ever coming back here. And this texture on, it's hard to, uh... It's got a grainy filter over everything. It's hard for me to tell, uh, what's just a notch on the wall and what's a plate. Oh god. So we go this way. I used the Warren's title too soon. This feels like a rat home. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck! What the hell? Okay, she startled the shit out of me and she didn't even do anything. All she did is walk out from around the corner. Fuck. Pretty sure I had an invisible wall or something. The only one place it could be going, right? Screw this.
something bad is going to happen in this room. Well, for the first time in a long time, I don't want to explore. I don't think I've felt this sensation since Dead Space 1. That was the first horror game I ever played in any depth. Oh no. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, this LP. I, uh... Wait. If I could, but this part of the department store is flooded. His trail ends here. It might be a long shot, but try using your gas spectrometer. Dead bodies start decaying immediately, producing hydrogen sulfide and traces of methane. If there's a body, you should be able to sniff it out. The air sample contains usual city pollutants and high concentrations of mold spores, and here we go. Methane. It's relatively weak, but definitely there. Thank you. I guess you have to wait a while before it builds up. I'm just assuming. I mean, come on. No, it's weakening. Oh, it's that machine that's making that breathing noise. I guess that makes sense, actually. Uh, I'm starting to deliver my usual message. About how, uh, let me guess. I guess it's behind that door, which means I need to find a fire axe. Before I started doing uh, LPs, Oh, is this the same plus spot? No, it is not. Before I started doing LPs, I was never able to play horror games. Like, I would play for maybe 20 minutes, and then I would get scared and wuss out. Oh.
don't get up on my account. I just wanted to see if there was some special interaction I could do with him. She was swinging it, I thought that was a mannequin leg. Actually, no, let's go with the conduit. Still pretty decent for blocking, right? This is a bad idea! So he's scripted, then. Oh, hey, fire axe. Sweet. There's just something about having the camera going. About knowing that people are even theoretically watching this that makes me keep going. helped. I mean, I don't feel great, but... Here's a tidbit I'll give you guys. Saw that. Put the fear of God in you. Yeah, um, starting to say, Oh, hey, uh. Whenever I mention that, the thing about how I could never play horror games before, a specific game comes into my mind. That's the game I was planning on playing for this year's Halloween. Right, this is where I'm actually supposed to be going, so let's check out the fire door on the other side. Well, it's not really a fire door, it's a door you open with a fire axe, but... What's a little pet entry between friends, right? Oh, hey. Uh, uh, uh. I couldn't do that until I put the tool away.
Well, what the hell is on the other side? Oh no, this is a dead end. Okay. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins. The day of spooking will be over by then. But Ethan's journey is still continuing. Later! Oh, and once more, just for the sake of it, Happy Halloween, Burning Dog fans. Bye!